so we are going to discuss about the factors affecting the type of eye injury in sports and before we begin with the discussion it is necessary to understand an important word which we are going to use throughout this lecture and that word is projectile and what projectile means essentially in sports it means it is an object that can cause the injury during a sport is being played for example for a cricketing eye injury the projectile could be the cricket ball or for that matter for a sport like american football which is also called as rugby the cause of the injury or the cause of the eye injury could be the fist of the opponent which is approaching or for that matter even the ball which has been used to play that game so that could be a projectile in that situation so the first important critical factor which could affect eye injuries in sports is ocular exposure and the point of impact of the projectile now we have to understand that ocular prominence will depend on the refraction especially myopic eyes tend to have a comparatively larger axial length hence a myopic eye is always more susceptible to injury as compared to the other eyes one thing we we appreciate about the orbital bones and the orbital cavity is that it plays an important role in protecting the eye from an external eye injury but typically when we consider a face like a mongoloid face which which is a combination of a smaller orbital bone with a flatter face and very commonly they tend to be myopics so this is a uh, this is not a great combination for for eye injuries a smaller orbital bone a flatter face and myopia together can increase the risk of orbital exposure hence it can increase the risk of eye injury in sports now one important thing is that the anterior aspect of the eye is always at a high risk of injury the direction of gaze at the point of impact of the projectile at the time of any eye injury can decide the resultant damage now one very critical factor about the eye is that it it has some weak points and those weak points are specially at the level of insertion of the rectus muscles any direct impact causing injury at these weaker points can even cause rupture of the glove hence direction of gaze and point of impact at the time of injury are very critical so if there is an injury at these weaker points it can it can be more dangerous as compared to an injury at any other point of the globe so it is very important is the first factor which is ocular exposure and the point of impact of the injury the second important factor is the direction of approach direction of approach so the direction at which the projectile is approaching the eye can determine the severity of eye injury and the more oblique the direction it is less likely to cause a penetrating injury so oblique the direction lesser chances of penetrating injuries and perpendicular the impact or the direction of approach more likely to have a penetrating injury the orbital volume however gives very good protection to the globe to the eyeball superiorly and nasally but we have already studied that it is the inferior temporal part of the globe which is susceptible to injury so the orbital volume gives best protection superiorly and nasally but it is inferior temporally where the globe is at risk for eye injuries so typically if we have to give an example we could give an example of a cricketing batsman who has mistimed a hook shot and uh, that could classically have an injury uh, 
or it will classically have a projectile approaching the eye inferior temporally which is why it is always emphasized that cricketing batsmen should wear helmets especially while while they are facing a fast bowler the fourth important criteria which can affect the type of eye injuries in sports is the size and speed of the approaching projectile we should understand that smaller the projectile more the chances of a penetrating injury especially if that projectile is moving at a greater speed so for example a squash ball can cause damage to the eye and that damage can be much more severe as compared to a football or a soccer ball so smaller the surface smaller the radius of the projectile and faster the projectile it can cause more penetrating injuries as compared to a larger diameter or a larger radius projectile the fifth important criteria or factor that can cause an eye injury is the surface of the projectile and its rotational effects so sometimes the projectile may not be truly spherical for example we 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 can we can we can take an example of a cricketing ball uh, which would have a rough surface at the raised seam of the eyeball so when such a ball such a cricketing ball with a raised seam which is which which is very rough as compared to the other aspect of the ball and when that ball is moving at a speed and also rotating at the same time it can impact the eye causing lid lacerations and more severe surface injuries so surface of the projectile and its rotational effects can have uh, an impact on the eye injuries the sixth and the most important part of today's discussion is eye protectors and protective devices like helmets and spectacles can significantly reduce the frequency and severity of eye injuries in sports polycarbonate should be the material of choice always polycarbonate is the best material which can provide impact resistance in sports contact lenses may be superior optically but they do not provide protection to the eye hence there are certain sports where spectacles or protective headgears or protective helmets are a must while playing the sport one should always emphasize that protective devices must be worn by the sportsmen wherever and whenever they are required and suggested by the coach so if we have to revise quickly i would about the six important factors that can cause eye injuries in sports the first factor would be the ocular exposure and the point of impact of the projectile the second important factor would be the direction at which that uh projectile is moving and of course the next important factor is the size of the projectile and the speed at which that projectile is moving the fifth factor is the surface of the projectile and its rotational effects and last and the most important uh, criteria which can control eye injuries in sports will always remain the eye protectors athletes should always make sure that they are wearing eye protectors whenever and wherever it is required for the safety of the eyes thank you very much